Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a part transfer on a Willeman McCodal machine. Let's begin. So if we look, I have a part that's programmed to a certain point on this machine, and it's ready to do the transfer. So in order to do the transfer, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a part repositioning. To do the part repositioning, we're simply going to go to the Additional tab, and we're going to choose Part Repositioning. Part Repositioning is a really cool feature of Top Solid Cam. It allows you to reposition the part and its current stock condition either in the same machining document or onto a, a different machine or machining document. So in this case, we're going to do it in the same document. I'll zoom up here a little bit so you can see. It's just allowing you to make a copy of everything, basically, right? And now I'm going to take that part, and I'm going to position it on my vise. Now to simplify things so you can see what I'm doing a little easier, I have the jaws turned off on my, on my vise, but it's irrelevant, it's all the same. This is about how the process works itself. Now, from there what I want to do, I'm going to kind of rotate this around and I'm going to say I want to put that face in contact with that plane, and then I'm going to orient this face here off of that axis, just so that we have the part positioned how we want it and if we rotate this, you can see it's sticking out above the edge of my vise to allow me to machine on that side once the transfer is actually complete. All right, perfect. That's being held by the vise. Click OK. And we're ready to continue. So that puts it into the remachining stage. We're going to go back to our machining stage now and focus on what's next. And what's next here is we want to move the, uh, the vise. I'm going to rotate it up and move it into position close it on the part. So that's what we're going to do next. This is going to be achieved using what we call a virtual jog in top solid. Not everything can be achieved via a automatic algorithm. Sometimes you just need to use a command that lets you be creative. And when you have machines like this, creativity goes a long way. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and set some feeds and speeds because maybe I'm going to use uh, a rapid mode there. And a, I'm sorry, not rapid mode, a, a feed mode. I'm going to go select the WCS I want to drive by, and I have one called Transfer Frame. And down here I'm going to choose the current condition of my UR axis or my vice axis. Okay, And in fact, it's in the down state currently, so that's where I'm starting from. Next, we're going to set up the operation. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start with a simple hold release part. I'm going to make sure the jaws are open on my vice. Now, depending on the machines, depending on what you want to do, you can throw a delay in there if you want to make sure that the jaws have time to open before you do something else. It's up to you. In my case, I'm just going to go straight to coordinate motion. And I'm going to say that I would like to take this axis and rotate it up 90 degrees. Now, another key benefit of Top Solid Cam is that when you're working in an environment like this, you can see instantly that you've typed in the right value. You can see the axis moved exactly how you want it to move. Okay, so it takes the guessing games out of it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK there, so that's moved up. And then I'm going to do another motion. This time I'm just going to do a point motion. And I'm going to say, oh, I don't think you have to do this, it's just a force of habit. I'm just separating how rapids are done. And I'm going to say that I want to move, you know what, I can just snap to it. I want to move right to this face, right? So I'm going to say, let's get the intersection point of a plane and an axis, so I'm going to say this is my axis and that's my plane, and you can see it just made my point there. And now it's going to move the entire system forward into that position. Okay, and that's it. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to say go to hold release part, and now we're going to be on hold part, and we're going to close the jaws of the vise. Okay, now click OK. I'm going to come down to by operation here, and I'm going to call this part transfer start because it's the beginning of the transfer and if you want to simulate it real quick we can you can see there it goes we're in position we're ready to go now what's next next is we need to take a saw and cut through the excess material so let's take a saw and cut through the excess material now in this case I'm gonna do it using a sketch okay there's probably ten different ways you could do this this is just the way I've chosen to do it in the sample so let's go build a sketch on the fly. I'm going to switch to CAD mode. I'm going to select that plane, build a sketch on it. We'll look straight at it, and maybe I'll start right here. 
come down like so. Maybe I'm going to say I want to leave that 30 thousandths away from that face because that's how much stock I want to leave. And because I like fully defined sketches, I'm going to go ahead and make that centered three quarters of an inch. Good enough. Okay. Now we're going to switch back to cam. I'll zoom back out so you can see what we're doing. And now from here, I'm going to go ahead and create a T-slot milling. Okay. Now you can see I have my saw. I'm going to go ahead and select my geometry to start with. I want that. And right now, it thinks the, the tool orientation is vertical, so I want to change that orientation. And I don't know if you saw it or not, but there's lots of these different symbols out here. These are the available WCS solutions. So I can just click them, and now that has set my B axis to be 90 degrees. I can say that my material actually needs to be on the other side. So now we're machining from the top of this. And now let's go set up the rest of our operation. So I'm going to come down here and say this is internal top. We're going to say it's a 16th inch wide. That's perfect. Uh, one pass is great. I'm going to go to my lead in lead out and I'm going to set that to maybe three quarters of an inch. So you can see that got longer. And if I snap, you notice like my tool will snap to my actual tool path so I can check this stuff. So now I can rotate, pan and zoom. And I'm using my space mouse. You can see I'm away from the stock. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, maybe we can get a little bit closer. Let's try a half inch extension per side. Let's look. Yep, that's still nice and away from the material. So that looks good to me. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to say stock to leave on the wall or the sides, right? I'm going to say minus quarter of an inch because I want it to actually go all the way through the material. Perfect. We'll click OK. And now we have sawn off the rest of the material. Now, the last step is to move the part back down so that we can do the operations on the vise when the vise is rotated horizontally. So again, we're going to go to our additional tab. We'll go here to virtual jog. And I'm going to go ahead and set up some feet and speeds. Again, I'm working in inches, so I'm going to say 50 inches a minute. Why not? I'm going to come here. And really, all I need to do now is I'm going to go to coordinate motion. Oop, pardon me. It would help if I select a WCS. There we go. Now I can go to coordinate motion, and I'm going to set this back to zero. Perfect. Let's make sure, sorry, we're starting at 90 in that case. All right. And if we look, you can see now that's pulling that down. And then just for fun, I'm going to go switch to my remachining stage. And I'll go to end milling. We'll go pick a tool. We'll use a quarter inch end mill in this case. And now this brings up another fantastic feature of Top Solid. So right now we have collinear axes that we have to deal with because you have the X axis back here and then you have the axis that drives the location of the vise. So they're collinear axes. So you have to choose what you're driving by. So in this case, I want to use my X, Y, Z axis and I want to fix my U axis. I'm going to say at 60 millimeters. Okay, perfect. Click OK, done, and now let's go simulate the whole thing. We're coming up, saw's coming in, it's going to do its thing. Once that goes home, that's going to come down. We're going to move it into position, we're going to come in and do our milling, and then everything goes home. Perfect. Last step, of course, let's show some G code just for giggles and grins. Sorry, let's make this so you guys can see a little better. So, again, this is just G code for the Willman McCodal. Okay. And if we scroll on down, these are those final operations that we added. All right. So, we have the positioning of the part, we have our T slot milling, we have the part transfer start, we have the T slot milling, we have the virtual jog to send everything back and then we have the machining on the other side so again hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions reach out to us at top solid USA.